Hello guys and welcome to Paul and Sue Cigar Reviews. Today I'm smoking the Gurkha War Pig. Um, and I do have a little bit of a red eye because I just had surgery and I guess during surgery they tape your eyes shut, you know, and uh, to keep them moist and I think a little bit of the tape ripped my eye when they were opening it back up. But that's okay, I can see fine, so I'm going to smoke the cigar and uh, I'll let you know my thoughts. I'm going to keep it quick today because, you know, nobody wants to watch a really long cigar review that just goes on and on and on about all the flavors. I'm just going to give you the, the most prevalent flavors and then tell you what I think. So I do have to remove the foot band just to get it lit. <clears throat> so not a lot of flavors coming off on the light, but that's okay, we just started, so we'll see what happens. Um, Gurkhas typically come with these big, huge bands, which is fine. You get a kind of look at that guy on there with the machete. He looks pretty cool. Uh, I've had a few Gurkhas before. Um, my dad likes to smoke Gurkha just because I think the flavors are they're easy to pick out. Um, and they're typically, you know, um, they got the coffees and the, the leathers that most people like in a cigar. And I do too, actually. I like a Gurkha cigar most of the time. I've had a few that <clears throat> kind of had a little bit of a bitter flavor for me, but you know, that's just a uh, preference thing. So uh, this is my first war pig that I've ever smoked and I don't know anything about it. So we'll see how, how good it is. Okay, so getting into the first part of the cigar here. Um, the flavors are good. I'm getting like a leather and coffee and it's very toasty flavored, like it's just been roasted, <laughs> like a roasted piece of leather dipped in coffee. Um, so I do like the flavors. They are, I would say, at a medium body, which is good. Uh, and the, um, they're not, the finish isn't lasting super long. It, it, it goes away quickly, but um, that's also okay, you know, that's, at least the flavors are good and everything that lingers for the short time that it does is just kind of a toasty leather flavor that um, you can definitely taste. And um, just like every other Gurkha I've had, it just pours off the foot smoke. It's starting to kind of slow down, getting into the 15 minute mark here, but um, yeah, I don't really like so much when the foot smoke is just pouring into my eyes the whole time I'm smoking it and I gotta hold it way out here or something, but it seems to be kind of slowing down now. So, we'll see how it does. The draw was firm in the beginning, uh, but I kind of expected that and it's opening up now, so. And the smoke isn't super thick, it's kind of on the thinner side. is blowing right back into my face because of the wind out here. All right, so I got to about the halfway point already and it looks like I'm going to need to take the band off because like I said, it's such a huge band. I need to take it off pretty early. The flavors are the same, so I'll get back to you at the end of the cigar and see if anything's changed. So I noticed that in my last uh, halfway update of the cigar, I the camera must have tilted down a little bit and you were just seeing the bottom half of my head, but I was going to go back and thought about like sticking the band back on the cigar and pretending like I was taking it off again, but and then I just thought, no, I don't do that. I'm just going <laughs> to keep that part of the video and you guys can just watch the second, the bottom half of my head. But, uh, whatever.
And I also want to note that I don't pair my cigars with anything if I am doing a review, just because I even try to have a clean palette to start with. I don't uh, have a cup of coffee before or something like that. I usually just have a glass of water and um, because I like to just kind of see what the cigar can give me if I'm starting with just a neutral palette, you know, and that way every cigar can be the same because you might really love a cigar that you had with a great, uh, you know, drink to go with it, but, uh, it, you know, it's not really fair to judge. So, yeah, everything is just, I'm just smoking this with just nothing right now. And um, it can also help you know if the cigar is, you know, drying out your mouth or has kind of a dry or, or, or oily this to it because um, your drink can kind of take that away from you sometimes so yeah I don't pair with anything actually I don't really pair with anything even if I am just smoking for my enjoyment most of the time I because I do like to get the just the full effect of the cigar you know all of its flavors and the, the whole mouth feel for it and everything too it's part of the fun for me so Alright, we're getting towards the end here of the cigar, and um, <coughs> the, the flavors have stayed pretty much the same for me. Um, the finish has gotten a little bit longer with a little bit more of uh, an oily, savory um, wood taste at the end, uh, but still the leather and still a little bit of coffee, so it's been pretty consistent through the whole cigar, which is good for me. And um, I think. Overall, I would give this cigar a B plus rating. And um, the reason I say B plus instead of an A is because the flavors were there and they're good, um, but there was just a little bit of some thinner smoke for the you know first two thirds of the cigar, and then also uh, the the pull was a little bit um, firm pretty much the whole time it didn't really loosen up there was no knots that I had to work out or anything it was just a it was just a little tight but um, it still smoked fine so it gets a B plus and um, just a little quick update about why like how I give a cigar a rating is um, because I know that flavors can be subjective for the most part you know I mean maybe somebody doesn't like a coffee or a nut flavor in their cigar uh, but I would think that actually you know, most of us enjoy the same kinds of flavors, like savory, dessert type flavors in a cigar, um, and we don't really enjoy flavors that uh, are unpleasant, like a paper bag or ash, or uh, you know, those kind of, sometimes you get a little bit of like a musty, almost like a pungent old closet taste from a cigar. I would say that those are generally no matter who you are, going to be more unpleasant. So, um, yeah, if you're smoking the Gurkha War Pig right now, or if you're thinking about smoking it, I would say that you are probably going to enjoy the flavors coming from from the cigar. Uh, the other thing I try not to do is give a cigar a good rating based on whether it's full-bodied or mild because sometimes you do prefer a mild cigar, you know? Um, oftentimes in the morning people would rather smoke a cigar that's not just really heavy with flavor but has kind of a more mild, the smoke's not, you know, really irritating you or, or you know, just consuming all of your senses. It's, it's more of just a, a light flavor in your mouth. Sometimes you ash all over your pants. <laughs> it's just the way it goes. I also won't take points away for that because that is my fault. But um, yeah, I typically will give a cigar a good rating based on what I think the general consensus of the cigar will be. I'm pretty confident that most people are going to enjoy this cigar um, just based on its performance and the flavors combined. Below an apple tree, and that was a close one.
the other thing some people want to know is where I buy cigars, and the answer to that is I do go to some brick and mortar shops around me. There's some places here in Salem, Oregon that sell cigars, and and um, I'll go there and I'll I'll kind of look around and, and purchase an interesting looking cigar every once in a while. But you know that gets a little bit more expensive than buying online or buying in bulk. So. I'd say most of the time I buy my cigars online and uh, I haven't had a bad experience with getting them shipped. You know, you gotta let them sit in the humidor for a little bit. But um, yeah, you definitely get cheaper cigars that way. And I got this one on Cigars International in a sample pack. And I like to buy the sample pack because they do send decent cigars in with the samplers. You know, I don't think they're trying to rip you off with mostly uh, cheap cigars and then a few good ones. They actually send you know, mostly premium quality cigars, and maybe a few cheap ones that can sometimes be surprising with uh, how much you enjoy them, which I think is fun too, to get a variety, so yeah, that's that's where I would buy, that's where I do buy most of my cigars, is online with, I go to Cigars International just because they have all my account information already, so I just get to click, yeah, ship to me. <laughs> So this has been the Gurkha War Pig. Thanks for watching.